Hello everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for all the comments which uh, it was written on the videos. I appreciate it. Uh, there was some question in the video, so uh, I decided just uh, shortly to describe some points plus answer for some questions. And uh, if you like, uh, please leave a comment again uh, if you think that there is something which you need to understand or some additional questions and uh, we will try to do it together i'm just trying to understand uh, which way it's better to go i mean more deeply inside the software or more deeply technical so uh, let's open one simulation which we did and let's try to discuss about it so i will open it as usual so i'm going to show the formula let's see which we have here and it's quite good so one of the points which uh, I'm going to show you that uh, if you need uh, you can put so we are moving here the tool and we are seeing start a form okay so I'm gonna see uh, the section view on the part just to understand how the tools are engaging together so here as you can see my pointer is here uh, you have some options for to make a cut section and to watch the parts from different angles so I'm just going to click here so on the right uh, small window here you can see where the points are already so if you can you can just drag and to modify them in which side you like or you can just cancel and to go from each uh, view which you need so I'm going like X direction so then like here and uh, by start of moving again here you can see the form on the part so definitely we need to modify the angles to see how the tools are engaging together so I'm going like uh, cancel this view I will try from Z direction so here uh, we have okay I will go back again and uh, if I start to watch the video so you can see how the metal is forming and if you need to see uh, how other tools I mean like a die like a punch when they are engaging together you need just to go on this uh, left uh, window here and you need to, to choose current parts or you can go here so show the tool or uh, shortcut T on your keyboard so here you can see that uh, here we have the green one is binder for sure so the blue one is or die and the red one is punch so it's the first of the drawing operation and binder is closed with the die so I will just move it back to show you with more details so here sheet uh, already let's say fixed on the binder and uh, here we have our drawing bead which is going to be engaged and to keep the sheet metal and then forming will start so I will just play it again as you can see now the drawing is started to go and uh, you can see it's more uh, like technical for to understand uh, I mean in die spot section how uh, sheet, uh, sheet metal will behave and uh, which area will be more critical just to, to understand in the simulation and when it will be practical you can give some guide to uh, people who is who will work on the tools just to modification and so here you can see end of the drawing so now the tool is just closed and next operation is going to start uh, so this is about section view uh, there was question in the comments that how we can export the current part which we just made okay so I will just try to unhide everything just I have sheet metal here so if I go uh, here process tools so I have D20 first drawing operation I will uh, just try to show the die section so let's hide uh, 
or sheet metal and uh, we have just the uh, die visible on the screen so if you go here and try to export or just click on ctrl plus e on your keyboard so you will see this window will pop up and uh, you have some different options so definitely what we are going to export right now is like geometry so the first one as you can see the surface is already just pre-selected if you need to export like curves then you have to check here on the curves but as you can see the there's like a warning on the software that there's no curve visible on the screen because we we have surfaced so if you put surface then uh, different uh, four different like say type of uh, export you can do but we will just go with the ideas for the moment so if I do export then I can just put, uh, put the name for like let's put die face op20 okay so if you save it it's already export so you have die face then you can just hide the die face so I want to export punch again same process as I said here you can move it uh, let's see what else do we have in or okay so I have cutting section so I'm gonna try to export it so definitely it will be possible to export it like curve uh, it will be cutting curve so in IGS format I can put like uh, let's put like uh, so if I click on save, so I exported also the cutting line uh, which will be used for uh, tool design. Ok, 